currently eating this pico guacamole burger at a McDonald's in Uruguay. The 60th country I've eaten at McDonald's. McDonald's in Paris. McDonald's in Kazakhstan. As good as it gets. McDonald's in Germany. Argentina. McDonald's in Morocco. Everywhere. I'm at McDonald's in Paraguay and they have the smallest menu I've ever seen. Ew! Why on earth would you do that? Before you freak out or close this video, give me three minutes to explain why I keep coming back to the Golden Arches. Let's look at some mind-blowing mix facts. 68 million customers are served daily, or 1% of the world's population. There's 36,000 branches in 118 countries. 75 hamburgers are sold every second. So about 3,000 since you started watching this video. That all being said, here are five reasons why I've eaten at McDonald's in 60 countries. One, different menu items. The mixed spaghetti in the Philippines, durian McFlurry in Singapore, bulgogi burger in Korea, tartar balls in Romania, or the taco burger in Belarus. Trying unique menu items that cater towards the local cuisine is the most interesting part about eating McDonald's around the world. Two, upscale amenities. McDonald's has evolved into a semi-luxury restaurant in some places. Free Wi-Fi, clean bathrooms, outlets to charge my phone, air conditioning, and comfortable couches make McDonald's a lifesaver and a great place to refresh. Three, good work spots. While the coffee may not be as tasty, the Mick Cafe environment is just as good as Starbucks and everything is half the price. Also, the Wi-Fi signals at McDonald's are generally strong making it an ideal place for me to get some work done. Four, a taste of home. When you travel for four, five, or six months non-stop, you get tired of eating curry or chicken and rice every meal. That's where McDonald's comes in. McDonald's in the Czech Republic. Sometimes, a Big Mac and fries just hits a spot. And we all know the fries are the best in the world. Five, it's a cultural experience. Going to McDonald's in foreign countries is like a cultural experience in itself. It costs 12,000 guaranis. And I'm constantly shocked to see how crowded they always are. In some countries, like Korea, McDonald's is an upscale restaurant with 70-inch Samsung TVs. In India, some McDonald's are vegetarian only. And in Israel, some are kosher. No cheeseburgers at this McDonald's. Also, 19 countries have the McDelivery guys zooming in and out on their motorbikes. It always sparks my interest to see what I'll discover in McDonald's. Lastly, this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored sponsored by McDonald's. But now that I'm 60 countries in, I want to get in touch with McDonald's and be the guy who's eaten at McDonald's in the most countries. So if you could be so kind, please tag McDonald's in the comments below to see if we can get their attention. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.